Hi and welcome to this week's look at headlines in natural health on iHealthTube.com. Well, there's no doubt the flu season is upon us and according to some accounts, it started earlier in some regions. That's prompting health officials, of course, to urge people to get vaccinated. But is that helping? A recent article in the New England Journal of Medicine points out doctors concern over a record level of flu in Australia and just a 10% effectiveness for the flu shot. Why is this a concern? Well, the American flu vaccine uses the same one that Australia uses. That could lead to a similar vaccine ineffectiveness during a more severe flu season. The best advice, of course, to stay healthy during flu season is to avoid close contact with those that might have the flu and to wash your hands frequently. Canola oil is one of the most widely consumed vegetable oils in the world and has been advertised as being healthy, but both soon might be changing. A recent study published out of Pennsylvania is linking the consumption of canola oil with memory and learning ability issues, as well as weight gain in mice. One area of focus in the study was the formation of amyloid plaques common in Alzheimer's disease. In a previous study, mice with Alzheimer's were fed a diet enriched with extra virgin olive oil. Those mice had reduced levels of amyloid plaques. Researchers looked to see if canola oil would produce similar results. Instead, after 12 months on supplemented canola oil, the mice weighed significantly more than those fed a normal diet. The mice that were fed canola oil showed impairments in working memory as well as an increase in amyloid plaques. Well, more and more is being known about the risks of kids drinking sugar-sweetened beverages. Now a study is looking at pregnant mothers doing the same and its effect on their children. A recent published study looked at mothers in their first and second trimesters of pregnancy who recorded their food and beverage consumption. They completed another questionnaire when the kids reached three years of age, which is considered early childhood. When the kids reached mid-childhood, 19% had asthma. The half of mothers who consumed the most sugar-sweetened beverages were more than 60% more likely to have a child with asthma at mid-childhood. Similarly, kids who consumed the most fructose during early childhood were 64% more likely than those who consumed the least to have asthma in mid-childhood. That's a look at what's making headlines in natural health this week. Go to iHealthTube.com and sign up for our free email newsletter to stay connected to the latest in natural health.